Okay, so, so another way to picture this. Here's you. And um, so someone says, how would you like to be touched? And you sort of ask your body, what do you want, honey? And your body says, legs. I want my legs touched. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This is the brain. Sorry. That's the brain. Yeah. So the little brain lights up and says, Legs. Now, you have a choice. Do I trust that information? Because you might not. It's not like we're taught how to, by any means. Yeah. And then do you value it? Does it matter? Well, my legs kind of would like scratching, but that's probably not the right thing to ask for. And then you communicate it. And you communicate it to this other person over here. And they decide yes or set limits or whatever, that have that negotiation. And then the action happens on your leg. Right? So, most of us are focusing on this part, the doing stuff part. And so, in order to get to this part, we're doing just the, oh wait a second, this should be notice. First thing is that you notice it. Notice, trust, value, communicate. So most of us are so focused on this part that in order to get here, we do just enough of this to give us permission to get going. So we sort of skip over this. And what I'm saying is that this is really not all that important. This is the important part. Because this is now useful in their lives. And now they can, now, now there's an infinite number of things that this could become based on what they want. And one of the common questions that comes up is, well, what if they don't know that this blissful experience is possible? Isn't it useful to take them into this whoo, fabulous place? Yeah, sometimes, if that's what they're asking for and if they've already showed that they have enough ability to, to communicate and, and, and handle that much stimulus. But there's no guarantee that they have that ability. The ability to handle pleasure is usually built. But when you when they learn this, then lots of options. Then they can do more. Then they'll think, oh well I also like this and I also like that and wow now I could ask for that. Cool, I never thought of that before. If you think back of your experience with uh, being on the table or erotically or playing that you you're, you learn gradually that, oh, there are more options. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is an option. And oh, wow, this is an option. But you didn't know those options to begin with. So once this is clear and strong, and that's a lifelong process, then these options just get huge. There's no end to those options. And then they're useful because they're not overwhelming. It occurs to me, too, that the reason we focus on action is it's the externally visible thing. It's, you can't really see people noticing, trusting, valuing. Sometimes you can see them communicating. But when you think about how sexual services are sold or sexual products are sold or sensuality is sold and packaged, it entirely focuses on the action because it's the only thing that can be mediated. It's the only thing you can show in media. And yes. so much of what we learn about sex is mediated. How did you learn to kiss with your eyes closed? You saw it in the movies. Why do they kiss with their eyes closed in the movies? Makes better movies. Makes better, doesn't. It, it looks it's weird good. when people have their eyes open on film. That's why people kiss with their eyes closed. Why do people eat pussy like this? Because <laughs> that's what they saw in porn. So the focus on the action and how people learn, like all we can, all we, because we're not given permission to have that direct route, the only thing we can do is the indirect route to pleasure, it's all externalized, it's all what we see, that experience of noticing, trusting, valuing 
is so powerful for your clients. And it's, I, I think it's really important to just know that there's like pressure from capitalism to like <laughs> make it look good, but their subjective experience doesn't necessarily depend on the actions at all. Absolutely. Oh, also that's our, that's our, not just sex, but that's our whole cultural norm. Mm -hmm. What counts is the stuff that you can see and that gets built and created and sold. That's what counts. Which is where nurturing so is a value. We're, we are totally soaked, see, steeped in that paradigm that it's the stuff that happens is what counts. That's true if you're building a bridge. You want the thing to stand up, so you got to do it right. So it's, it's not that that's a non-valid way to be, but in our culture, that's kind of the only way. It's very hard to come back and the work that we're doing of Increasing our own awareness and then helping other people increase theirs. That's radical stuff. Mm -hmm. Completely opposite of what everything's been taught.